backyard to feed my lamps family We are a family Our hearts are bound together in love We are a family oh, oh, oh. Heart to heart, face to face We are a family We join us to lift up Jesus as a family We are the Feed My Lamps family excited to see you today and I have a story to share with you from the Bible and as is our custom it is your homework to tell me where the story in the Bible comes from so feel free to contact Auntie Mara and just tell me where the story is from right so there was a farmer who had a very big farm but unfortunately he did not have laborers or people to work in the farm so he thought to himself and said what am I going to do? So he sent out posters and said, you know what? I have a vacancy. I need workers to come and work in my farm. So then people came through and saw the adverts. And there was a man who came through at the sixth hour. So brother Sam came through at the sixth hour to the farm and went to the farmer. And the farmer was so excited. Hi, Sam. I'm fine. Great. So you want to work on my farm, yes? Yes. Great. So at the end of the day... I'm going to pay you five of these. Is that okay? Yes. So I'm going to give you 500 rands, my brother. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so I'll see you at 5.30 and I'll give you your money, okay? Yes. Thank you so much for coming at six. You can work over there. So Sam was excited. He was getting 500 rands and that was a good deal. So Sam worked from 6 a.m. And at the ninth hour, 9 a.m., another guy came and he worked 
and he came through and that was so exciting. And again at the 12th hour, another guy came and he worked in the farm and it was exciting and the farm was growing. And at 2 p.m., another guy came and they worked. But at 5 p.m., Brother Anne came through and he was so excited. Hi, Brother Anne. I'm fine. Great. You'd like to work on my farm? Yes. Okay, so I closed the farm at 5.30. You have come in at 5. That's good. So you can work and I'll give you 500 runs. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, so you can join Sam who was working from 6 over there, okay? Okay, thank you. So Anne went through it. He had struck a great deal. I mean, he'd only come at 5 and 5.30 he'd be done. So he was so excited. And the farmer was also so excited that people had come through to work in his vineyard. And so now, you know, the time we love most, the time our mummies and daddies love most, and the time we love most, you know, you get money for pocket money. I mean, everyone's excited. This is lots of money. Came through payday and woo, pay hour rather. It was 5.30. And so Sam and Anne came through and, you know, they were expectant of their money and happy. And ah, the farmer was also happy to give them their Jews. So he spoke to Anne and said, hi, Anne. As we agreed, I'm going to give you 500 runs. That means five of these. Okay. So here you go. One, two, three, four. Five, thank you so much for the work you've done. And he paid Brother Sam as well. Hi, Sam. Hi. How are you? Thank you so much for working from six. So here's your juice, the one we agreed on. One, two, three, four, five. But Sam wasn't happy. And the farmer wondered, why wasn't Sam happy? And yet they had agreed that he would work from morning till evening. But it is likened to the kingdom of heaven, boys and girls. There are some children who have been in the church from when they were little babies and have worked for Jesus from 6 a.m. till 5.30. And Jesus loves them and has the same gift of them of 500 runs or the gift of going to heaven. Similarly, there are those boys and girls who are not born within the church, who have never heard of Jesus. And like Anne come on the fifth hour at 5 p.m. And they are concerned that, no, oh, maybe Jesus doesn't love me as much. I mean, I only knew Jesus when I was 12, when I was 11, and my parents don't know Jesus. But from this story, we learn that Jesus loves us all the same. And we, if we are to join the fold right now, before people go to heaven, then we are able to receive the same reward as Sam who came at 6 a.m. Isn't that amazing? That Jesus loves us all the same, regardless of when we knew him, how we knew him. All we have to do is accept his free gift and work in his vineyard and tell others about pathfindering, adventuring, invite them to church for Sabbath school or the whole day, and they'll be able to know about Jesus. Because whether you come at the sixth hour or the fifth hour, Jesus loves us all the same. May God bless you. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today our text of consideration is coming from the book of Job chapter 12, verses 7 and 8. It reads, But ask the beast, and they will teach you, and the birds of the heavens, and they will tell you. Verse 8, Or the bushes of the earth, and they will teach you, and the fish of the sea will declare to you. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Our little world is a lesson book of the universe, particularly nature speaks volumes of God's love. Today we're going to look at the dolphin to find more about God's love. A dolphin is a fish classified under mammals. This means that they nest their babies. Dolphins are warm-blooded animals. Dolphins are social animals living in groups called pods or school. Commonly, we have two types of dolphins, the orca, and the bottlenose dolphin. Dolphins feed on fish and squids. They use a technique called echolocation to find food and navigate. Dolphins communicate through sounds and whistles. When a dolphin is hurt or develops a wound, it cannot survive underwater because of some parasites. So the do other dolphins take turns to suspend the wounded dolphin above the waters. 
As they will be doing so, some dolphins will bring food to the, to the wounded dolphin and to the wounded deals. A dolphin, a dolphin is known to love, is known because it loves. It can, it can kill humans so that they cannot drown, not humans only, but other harmless creatures. A dolphin is friendly and lovely to men. In the scriptures, in 1 John 4, verse 8, it reads, Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. It is love that makes the world go around. In these very last days, when the love of many is waxing cold, it is my prayer today that you may love one another as Christ said loved you. God bless you. Praying, reading the Bible and singing 